with a tutorial on the mating system that I made as requested by my mom. Link will be in the description below. Anyway, so link to the video will also be in the description if you've not already seen it. But basically, I set it up in this way. Uh, two common events and then a common event for every potential child. Uh, the mating system in and of itself is complicated. Uh, it took me about a week to create everything, uh, make sure everything worked correctly. So basically, there's a test if there are more uh, than one person in the party. So this, this is what this script is, game party dot members dot length greater than or equal to two, or at least greater than. It has to at least be greater than two for this to actually work and make sense. And then I just added comments for my own personal benefit, but this actually will help others, I suppose. So we just control a variable for every stat twice. So parent one, max HP, parent two, max HP, and then so on. And then using these custom codes right here, game party members, and then this is mandatory because of the JavaScript coding language. This is going to be the actual member, and this can be edited with something in the middle. Zero is party member one. Cat is entering my room. Uh, oh, I just realized my mic is way turned away. I've been playing games on my computer, and they require a controller. So I had to unplug my mic to plug in my controller. Anyway, so this means person in front of party. And then parameter is parameter. Zero is HP, and then you go down the list. If you don't know what they are, they're, they go down like this. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you just do that twice for every parent. Then at the bottom here, this is to make sure that your child does not become overpowered. Uh, it's the average of the parent's level. Make it make it as fair as possible. Uh, then you do that just instead of using a parameter, you use the level. And then you just take the average. So you do this by creating a variable called child's stat, add the parent one, uh, same stat, parent two, same stat, then divide by two. Just take the average. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, it's just a lot of code. That's why I had to break it down, because I would lose track of everything. Uh, so, do that with the parents, and then you apply the stats. Here, go to a common event, children, and then this, I, it's not as... All right. It's not as complicated, but it can be, depending on how many children you have. I really should just close my door. My, th this cat, goddamn. Uh, da 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 da. So, set parent, variable parent1, just the variable parent1 is equal to actor ID of party member1, and then parent2. So, because I did base, this, base it off of Fire Emblem, uh, if you remember Krom, Sumia, Henry, Lucina, and then Cynthia. Right, so if Krom, and you can do this however you want, this is just how I did it. Uh, if, god damn it, whatever. If parent one ID is equal to, then you set the ID of whatever you want the main parent to be. So in this case, it's Krom, whose ID is one. If one, check to see if his future child already exists in the party. So if you were to have a way to just remove somebody from the party, then you can do this system all over again and it'll be like breeding in Pokemon. Except you can't have more than one actor like you can in Pokemon. So that's why there is a test to see if this actor exists within the party. If not, then you can try again. That's what this is, and then if it does exist, then there is a message that reads parent1 has already fathered, child cannot mate again. 
if Lucina does not exist, for example, go to the Lucina common event. This is... It, it's so much better to separate this per child. That way you always know what you're doing. Add Lucina to the party. That way it's, it's done with. Then add the parent level that you took the average of. Then this is important, by the way. You have to do this. Then custom name. Sure, you can keep this in. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, I had a custom class as well. All you would have to do there is list show choices, and then there is put in the different classes that you want the child to pick from. So classes, just pick one of these four, and then all you have to do is set change class to uh, that class. I can show you an example. Here we go. So show choices, hero, mage, because why not? And then when hero change class, gotta find it, change class of Lucina, always make sure you're changing the actor that you're working in. So it's Lucina, make sure like everything says Lucina. So Lucina has become a hero. Done. Uh, I, I no longer think that's actually beneficial because of reasons that I'll probably get into at later points. So the way this will work, like in Fire Emblem, the child will have the class of the parent. So Lucina is already a hero because Krom's a hero. Cynthia is going to be a warrior because Sumia is a warrior. You don't have to do that. You can make it custom like I did in the previous video, but because I'm trying my best to replicate systems, I decided against it. So after that, what you need to do is create a class HP, class, make, just make class stats, the same way you did for the parents and for the child. Now you need to have a class HP. Now. This is important because you're going to subtract Lucina's parameters by these class parameters, effectively making her entire stats zero. Now, why is that important? Because that way you can add the average of the parent stats together, and that's with this. You add the child's max HP, which is as you made in the mating kit system, it is the average of the two parents. Now, why did you have to get the exact number and you can't just always make it subtract 999? Because it'll actually go into the negative. I found this out through testing. It'll make it go into the negative and adding the new stats, it won't do anything actually, it'll just keep it at zero. So you have to make sure that you set a variable to the new class stats and then subtract it by the those new class stats. Class stats, there we go. Now it'd be easy to just say, okay, subtract by and then look over add class Okay, subtract HP by 667. Right. But this is better. Just keep this for if you want to have custom classes. That way you don't have to look and input subtract class by this, subtract by this. It'll do it automatically in a way. It's It'll just make everything better. Now, you just do that and you're good. Now, the reason that the level increase and then decrease was important is because it'll actually subtract at the rate that they would grow at. There's a better way to explain it, and I think I can go into the classes to explain it. Okay, so here's the rate at which HP grows. Now, it is at a constant rate of some number. I can't actually tell you here. 
but I'm pretty sure, yeah. This is going to grow at a rate of 50 per level, yeah. So what's actually going to happen is if you change the value of, all right, let's say it's actually level two, and then you add the average of the parent stats, let's say the parent stats actually became about 700. Right, so see how it's a little bit higher than the normal? Well, actually what's going to happen is whenever you subtract the level, it's going to go down to 650 at level, wait, what, 700. It'll actually go down to 600 at level 1. So it'll effectively make it grow at a rate of increased stat. It makes sense. If I knew 600 times, or 600 plus 50 times 98, actually I can easily just do this calc. Basically, let's go over this again. Yes, the it'll grow at 600 plus 50 times 98, 5500. Five, 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 for example, if the child is a mage, but the average of the parent's health stats is actually 700, what's going to happen is this. It'll grow evenly without causing some disturbance at like having Okay, ah, uh, it's hard to explain with just words and a single ramp on screen. Basically, it is to prevent this from happening. You take the average of, say you take the average of two heroes, and you put it onto a mage. It prevents it from going to 800, whatever. It's prevented from having 8,100 at level 1. It's a preventative measure. That was way too much to... Ah. Anyway. And now you have the child. Now, what I suppose is also uh, the thing of confusion is the test for parents and how the child's going to have the hair of the father. So remember whenever we set actor to our parent two? That's what this is. If parent two is equal to, say, class or actor one, that'll be Crom. So she'll have the blue hair. Remember, you have to make sure everything says Cynthia under the Cynthia tag. Otherwise, it'll mess up. And whenever you think you're creating Cynthia, you'll actually accidentally give Lucina something that should have been to Lucina because you weren't making sure everything said Cynthia. Right. Now, you can do this for every potential parent you want to have. Now, uh, Henry has white hair, so she'll have white hair. That's how you do it. And then after that, it'll all be the same thing underneath as it was with the Lucina chart. Just, you have to have this conditional branch to test for parents. Parents? Uh, parent hair. Now, there's no real test for gender, so what actually happens is you have to assign each parent pair, or at least an offspring that is associated with a parent. So, Krom has Lucina, Sumia has Cynthia. Now, what happens if Two people can't have children, such as uh, Henry and Lucina. We'll put that to the test. Let's create a Lucina right now. Let's name her Lucina. And now we're going to formation Henry and Lucina. And nothing happens. I should probably put a test to make sure they are compatible. 
before doing anything. But you get the picture, I hope, at this point. So if you would like to see any more uh, RPG Maker systems inspired by other games, please let me know because I love doing that. I have an entire... I, it's a series in my head. I have an entire series dedicated to recreating Final Fantasy and Pokemon and melding them together in a fashion. So please, if you have any other ideas you would like to see me do, please just let me know. Uh, as I said, I'm Shane. Thanks for watching. Thanks, my mom. And I'm gonna end the video.